What's going on guys? Carlos here and we are not playing live. I apologize. I know live is what what most people like and mostly what I like too. It's what I usually watch. But uh I told you guys I was gonna bring you guys kind of a special gameplay commentary and uh, I am. It's uh it's quite personal if uh I do say so myself. Um it is something that I've won I've always looked for a YouTuber who will talk about it. A YouTuber that that does you know video games because you know everybody's a real person i guess i just never found somebody who interests me as much to watch their content who talks about this subject because this is honestly like you know a deep subject it's uh and uh this gameplay is not my nuke the one that i had talked about earlier because that one got lost in the corruption and i could not find it whatsoever sadly because uh, I was really pumped for it, you know, second nuclear, but uh, I guess first nuclear I showed the other day will do. But however, this is a really good game. I think we lose quite a bit at the beginning, but we pick it up at the end and we just dominate because, you know, that's what we do around this neighborhood. We dominate around these places. As you can tell, kind of rough start. That won't be there for long, but uh, let's get right into the subject. Here we go. Uh, the subject I mostly wanted to talk about was uh, depression. It's about how everyone gets it, you know? Like, well, not everybody gets it. How It's a very common thing for a lot of people to get. And it's a lot of people think it's, they take it as a joke, which is kind of sad if you know, if you know anybody who has had it or if you personally are somebody who has had it. By the way, that was a really nice turn on that kid. That kid was probably pissed. I know I would have been. Um, and... I hate when people sometimes assume that all someone has to do is just get happy or stop being sad or stop thinking about that thing. But like what some people don't understand is that's not, you don't choose to think about it. It's something that just comes to mind or it's, you're just sad for some reason and you can't figure out why. As for me, it's that whenever I get sad, whenever I start feeling depressed, it's not because I thought about something. It just happens. It's something that you can't control and when people assume that it's something that somebody can control it's you know it's absolutely rude it's ridiculous as well because not everybody has the i want to say mental capability but it's not about mental capability it's about an in it's about a balance in the brain between a few chemicals and that's the truth and a lot of people don't like to believe that happiness and all these things are just chemical reactions going on in your brain but it, that really is the truth that's the whole reason why you are happy why you get sad and depression is just the chemical imbalance in your brain it's something that uh not everybody naturally is able to withhold uh evenly within themselves uh it can also be situational depression with some people which which some people do have which is where they get depressed for a certain reason but they never pull away from that reason, if you know what I mean. Like, let's say some a person, let's say somebody you're with makes you depressed, they make you feel bad. Then what the, the uh, how to control that would be by just, you know, separating or not being around that person at all. That's how you would get over it. And that's situational depression. And the truth is that people always feel like they're alone when in reality they aren't. And uh, the reason I say that is because... Of course, uh, I'm currently going through some tough times with uh, depression. Uh, I guess that's why I haven't been posting a lot. But um, it's quite difficult sometimes. But the truth is that you're not alone. You know, you just and it's not about finding someone who cares. It's about letting people know what's wrong. Because if you never let somebody know, then they're never gonna try to help because they don't know that something is wrong. And I'm not saying go out and tell the world that you're feeling sad and that they should feel sad for you because half of the time people who are depressed don't wanna want anybody to feel bad for them. They don't want anybody to feel sad for them because we like to feel like there's something to be happy about or something that we control, something that we have control of. And it's not always about people caring. Me personally, I don't like it when people care. And I guess that sounds kind of messed up, and especially because I'm here saying all this to you, to you guys. But it's the truth. I dislike when people care. I dislike when people worry about 
how I'm doing or what I'm doing. I absolutely dislike all of that. And that right there, I hated that. That was my fault. It was a complete accident. I could have gotten a nuclear this game. And you guys see it and you guys know it. Oh, and uh, quick look Look at the score. 70 to 120, 130. It's just going to keep going up. But uh, I do think we end up winning this game, which in my opinion is a pretty epic comeback. Um, what else was I going to say? Is that uh, depression is something that, you know, a lot of people... I guess make fun of or they're not maybe not even intentionally they just say oh yeah I, I feel depressed just because you know something's going on with them or you know that's depressing uh, because they didn't make the school they wanted you know like that's not what depression really is you know depression is much bigger than that and it can be much more hurtful because it's something that I don't know it truly does affect the person like mentally and physically um i'm not saying physically as in for people who have suffered through scenes of uh, you know through phases of which where they cut themselves or hurt themselves but i'm talking about how you stop caring for your body you stop caring for everything you do just because there's nothing to you know to you nothing is worth caring about and it's it's you know in my opinion it's quite it's it's sad that it's something that happens, sad that many people have to deal with, and it's sad that some people won't step up and help the people who actually need help, instead of just, you know, watching them be sad, and yes, maybe a lot of people who are depressed don't want help, in, in my case, I don't like getting help, but when somebody shows me help, I might get upset, but it's, it's refreshing, I guess, to see that somebody does, in fact, care. It's, I know I've been talking about a lot about care, but it's because this is a subject that's been, you know, that's quite personal, if I do say so myself, you know, going through it presently and probably in the future. And uh, I recently got antidepressants so they could help with anything like that. Just, um, But I've just been having a few side effects of it. And that's one of the bad things, one of the reasons a lot of people don't like antidepressants is because it can have side effects and all this but what you got to look at is that these side effects all these side effects are like it said side effects they're not permanent it's only going to happen possibly at the beginning it's possibly only going to happen for a little bit but in overall it's for the best as for me i've been gaining a lot of weight and i haven't liked it i've been disliking it ever since it's been happening but if i get put on antidepressants of course i'll request you know, to get new ones, possibly ones that won't cause weight gain, just because uh, weight gain is uh, something I don't want, something I dislike within myself, because I've never had this issue, but uh, uh, there's just, you know, some things you got to deal with to get better, and a lot of people don't understand that, and they just decide to deal with the depression head on without any help, without people caring for them without medical attention which you know is possibly one of the most important things it's getting medical attention because it'll help a life you know it'll help somebody who's having issues and it will make sure that at least mostly attempt to make sure that you won't be there alone you know people will be there to, con to talk to you you'll have psychiatrists if you need one you'll have you'll have your doctor who of course anything you say to them is completely you know has to stay in between y'all unless it's life-threatening uh for example i went to the er the other day for you know uh i guess kind of uh not inappropriate thoughts but i guess thoughts that i shouldn't be thinking especially being so young you know i don't know if you guys know but i'm currently 18 and about to turn 19 and um it's something you know that a lot of us deal with and i wish we didn't have to not just for myself but for other people because I care a lot about other people and depression is truly something I guess devastating uh, just for the simple fact that it doesn't just affect one person it's not something rare it's something that occurs quite often in fact I, when I went to the hospital my doctor told me that at least half of Americans were on antidepressants and I don't know if that's a sign for the way of life that we have or if that's just a coincidence that 
it's such a large population that you know it's difficult to find for one person to find exactly what they like in this country um one thing i do know though is that getting attention is very important getting attention getting help i mean getting help is very important getting help is one of the main things that somebody who's dealing with depression should do just it really will help i know there will be side effects i know there's a lot of people who get depression who don't like taking medications who don't support medications who don't support taking pills but these things have been developed to keep one mentally sane to keep one mentally healthy because you know what makes somebody up is their brain and their brain is a bunch of chemicals and a bunch of reasons to live and I know I say this and for those of you who know me I know you guys know that I'm very I guess you could say pessimistic and I know I am and it's just a way of life for me but you know living has its upsides and no matter what situations you're in you know it should never be for somebody to take their life simply because they're going through hard times it's to, when you're going through hard times when you get stronger and it's whenever you see what you're doing wrong see what somebody else is doing wrong and it gives everybody an opportunity to grow get stronger possibly become somebody to help in the future like for me if i see anybody dealing with depression i automatically know what they're going through i know it's quite difficult and i'll be there for them you know if they need help i'll be there for them just i guess it's a matter of learning to help people because I know that not everybody is willing to help. Not everybody is going to help. Uh, it's not meaning that they are that they don't want to help. Maybe some people just don't know how to help. And uh, I really just wanted to talk about this because it's really important. And uh, if you guys liked it, if you guys like this commentary, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, if you share this, it could possibly help somebody else out, you know. Uh, I know that if I saw a commentary like this, it would really help me out. And as you can see, 80 and 17, we made a comeback. We won this game. Yeah. Um, don't forget, this commentary was really personal. And I don't talk personally to many people, so I care about you guys. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace.